Okay, continuing on with this uh, interview series of videos, finally I want to talk to you about closing out the interview or, or the final things that you undertake in the interview. Now, uh, you need to recognize when the individual is indicating that the interview is over. Okay, you don't want to linger, you want to respond appropriately to their cues when they're cueing you to do something, whether that's to reach forward and shake their hand, whether that's to stand up, whether that's to bring your story to an end, etc. So again, you're focusing on these, co these cues. Um, but at the very end, to uh, wind up the interview in the most uh, um, effective manner is to, uh, just like in a sales message, end with some of your strongest points where you re-summarize or recapture um, what it is about the job, what it is about yourself that uh, drives you to have the job and means that you will fit within the organization. So again, um, you're going to do that through some general, concise, immediate couple of line or couple of sentence summary. Again, thank you for your time. I think I'm a great fit because, and I greatly appreciate it, appreciate this. I really want a place where I can learn and grow and, and um, uh, effectively use, use my skills and talents. So, so thank you. Okay, that would be an example again of how you're summarizing what you were trying to get out before. Generally, they're going to ask you at the very end before you leave, um, now do you have any questions with us? Always have questions of them. Okay, I've get in other, um, in other videos, I've given you a couple of examples of ones that I like a great deal. You will probably want to ask an educated question about the organization, something that shows you've done your research, but it's a good question and it will show that you are indeed eager and um, uh, to learn more and, and to get involved in the organization. Don't make it so difficult that it's something they won't know, but make it something a little bit more than you find out on the website. Okay, now um, after that, to wind things up, two excellent questions that I that I recommend ending with one or the other is, um, who do you see as the perfect candidate for this job? Again, it creates that cognitive association between you and the position. They begin to describe your characteristics as the characteristics of the perfect candidate. So again, it's that mental association and it generally comes across well. Um, another technique is to ask, uh, what could I have answered more clearly? Okay, It recognizes that the uh, other person may have some concerns about you, that they may have some questions that things that they wished you would expand it a little bit further, things that when they're comparing you against other candidates, uh, did you explain these points as well as others? And again, some way that they can associate. Well, you can begin to clear that up simply by asking them, what would you like to hear more of um, in, in that way? So um, they will normally tell you if they generally have some note or some level of concern. And then and if you can explain that further, again, that's your second bite at the apple, your opportunity to clear up that, that concern that they have. And again, that can be the single element that moves you ahead of some other candidates or applicants. So again, um, ending with memorable points, asking, uh, good questions there at the end um, is going to be the most effective way and what you should do when closing out the initial interview.